So what uh, what was it like to, to pull the USA basketball shirt on and walk into the Olympic Training Center today as the coach of this team? Well, you know what? It's one of those things it's an honor to have an opportunity but then I look at all these really good players and to have a chance to work with these kids and the best thing is you had 27 guys going at each other and what I said did you not have fun like that's what we do like throw it up and let's go play and they're playing against I mean there's some really good players there's some veterans that are competed but there are some young kids here that competed too a couple of your guys, Kevin and, and Hamadou especially today, look look really good. Look like they belonged out here. Were you happy with one? I mean, they're all, you know, they, it's like I just told them. If you think you played well, figure out how you do that tomorrow. If you didn't think you played well, don't worry about it. Come out tomorrow and play better. So, they're fine. They're fine. Anybody jump out at you today? I mean, I know it's day one, but you got to get Sorry, to see them in scrimmage. Because and, what I may do is be excited about a guy and then watch him in two sessions tomorrow. And, and again, he doesn't. You know, he came out, well, you got to sustain this. Show us who you are over a period of time. You know, you could be like this and this and this. Over a period of time, you're going to show us who you are. How we, helpful is it for a kid like Romeo Langford to get out here and go up against college college kids? Good. I mean, the young kids were all pretty good. All the young kids competed. They weren't afraid. They weren't in, I thought early on Romeo kind of deferred a little bit, and then he got into doing his thing. But they, all the young kids did good. How valuable is it as a, a college coach to see some of these top high school guys, not just against each other, but now go play college guys and, and grown grown men and see, see how they... It's not just me. It's every coach in here watching these kids. You say, okay, who is this guy? Now they're going against a kid a year or two older than them. So, Along those lines, Bruce Pearl's got a couple guys here that are going to be on well. campus. Those guys... Both played well. Be preparing his guys to beat us. <laughs> How much has Hamadou grown, I guess, since you got him in January to, to where we are right now? He's, he's, he's really improved himself. He's, uh, you know, he was a little sloppy today. And, and most of these kids, the biggest thing is I, I wanted to see conditioning. And I thought, guys fought. I told them up there, if you're not in shape, you're not making this team because we don't have enough time to get you in shape. I'm not one to keep it real, but I did keep it real. If you ain't in shape, you cannot make this team. So tomorrow's day is the one. All right, where are they after tonight? Now, we only went two hours, maybe a little bit longer, but tomorrow is, okay, morning. How are you in the morning? You may pay a new, a new game up there, you know? And I keep telling them, seven games, nine days, and if you do well, you got three games in three days. Can you do that? So. What is the biggest challenge of getting a team ready in, in two or three weeks to go play in this type of atmosphere? It's the hard thing is, and I've done this when I was with the Dominican, did the national team. We have Brazil and Argentina and these teams that have been together for 12 years, 10 years. These teams will play against, have been together for maybe three or four years. They run their stuff, they know what they're doing, they run great patterns. And you got your team together for like five days of practice. And then you're throwing it up on a national, worldwide stage, international stage, and it's that's the challenge. All right, so here's what it is. How do you keep it simple offensively so they attack? How do you be, become disruptive defensively so they can't just run their stuff? How do you play so that you can play a lot of people? If you keep 12 on the team, I'd like to play 12. How do you do that? You know, they play zone. Did you pick a team? That's why I put the zone in tonight. I wanted to see how do we who against zone. And a couple guys now you looked at and said, Ooh, they stand out against man, maybe not so much. But but that's, you know, it, it's, keep it simple. How do you keep it simple? I have five days. And then one of the days, we'll practice it in the morning. I'm flying to that draft. <laughs> <laughs> How's that going to work? Because you guys got two practices that day, right? Well, the, I may give them that day off because we will have gone Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday morning. That may be an afternoon off anyway, but it'll be fine. It, we'll have the staff here and they'll, they'll get it done. Cal Kevin looks like a guy that, a 6'8 guy who does some unusual, he makes a lot of hard things look easy, right? I mean, he was good today. He's good. But he's, I'm telling you what he is, he's a guard. He's a 6'10", whatever you want to say, guard. But I want all those guys. I want Hami to play with the ball in his hands, be a lead guard. Um, look where the game is going. There's how many true point guards, how many big guys? You know, I mean, yeah, you may be long, but you're not, 
And so it's, you know, that's the kind of stuff I want these guys to do. But they were, they were good today. Bowl, bowl for a 7-2 guy does some. You gonna let him shoot threes if he makes the team? <laughs> I, you know what, I, and, and he knows this, I saw him a year ago. I saw him a month ago, and I'm like, is that him? He has hit, I'm, I'm saying there are guys who go like this, his stuff went like that. And then they say each month you see this kid, he's just getting better and better. Great kid, happy for him, played good, but now he's got two sessions tomorrow. How's he doing? Hey, can we close?